Hi, Pazuzu here. Welcome to another Stardew Valley video. Today I will be talking about the obelisk and the return scepter. So please sit back, enjoy, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to address them. Here I am in the Cinder Snap Forest over by the wizard's house. Go ahead and go inside. I'm going to show you guys some really cool items that you can get. So here we have the earth obelisk and the water obelisk. So these are only available after you complete the goblin problem quest uh, with the wizard. And as you can tell, th these are very expensive. It's 1 million gold, 5 iridium bar, 10 clam, and 10 coral for the water obelisk. And for the earth obelisk, it's 1 million gold, 10 iridium, and 10 earth crystals. So these are super useful items. Um, I thought they were super expensive, and that's why I didn't get them at first. So I'm going to show you uh, how to use them and what you can do uh, with them. All right, I'm here back on my farm, and here are my two obelisks. I have the water and the earth. So this is really cool. Uh, what happens is with this earth obelisk, it actually teleports you to the beach. Uh, right here by the warp totem. So instantly to the beach. You know, it's kind of nice because you can, uh, if you have any crab pots, you can uh, go empty those out, or you can collect some shells that are on the, on the beach. Uh, easy for transportation. All right, and this one right here is the Earth Obelisk. Uh, it's very similar to the water one. Uh, the only thing that it does differently is that it warps you into the mountains. So this is nice when you want to, uh, if you don't want to take the mine carts, or if you don't have the mine carts yet, you can take them to the mines. You can fish up here in, in this north uh, mountain lake. Talk to Linus if you really want to go over to the bathhouse. So it's really nice, kind of get you to traveling. Uh, you don't have to walk very far. Um, and it gets you there instantly, which is really cool. All right, so one thing that I'm gonna show you guys um, with these obelisks is that, um, as you can tell, it, it warps you, and if you don't like to walk, it kind of sucks um, having to walk all the way back. So I'm gonna show you guys a, a cool trick, um, an exploit, I guess. Uh, that's, it took me a while to figure out exactly how to do it, but it's actually really cool. If you're on your horse, you can come up and put your horse right in front of it, but don't push any buttons yet because if you if you do it'll just teleport you and that's no fun just like that and then you have to walk all the way back uh, to your to your farm right here if you keep your horse in front of your obelisk and then you walk kind of through it through your horse and then you hit your 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 X button or your confirmation it will not only teleport you but also your horse which is really cool because then you could do your stuff here at the beach um, on your horse and you don't have to walk all the way back. All right, here we go. Same thing with the earth obelisk. Put your horse right in front of it, dismount, walk through your horse. And not only does it teleport you, but it teleports your horse, which is again, very nice uh, for traveling purposes if you don't want to walk. All right, there's one more really cool thing that I'm going to show you guys in this video. Uh, if you have access to the sewers, uh, that's kind of where it's going to can happen at so go ahead and go in and for this you need to go talk to Krobus and Krobus, Krobus sells uh, some interesting items um, you won't see it right here because I've already purchased it but he sells a return scepter it is this item right here this return scepter he sells it for two million gold so it's very expensive but it is very, very useful. Um, this return scepter, it's a uh, non-consumable warp totem. So it doesn't use anything uh, to warp you, but it warps you directly outside your farmhouse, which is actually really cool. Just used it right there. Puts me right in front of my door. So again, you know, if you wanna warp your horse with you to the beach or to the mountains, you could ride your horse around. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always warp to the beach. Go do your stuff here, collect your crab pots or your seashells, and then you could use your warp totem or your um, return scepter and go straight back to your farmhouse. That's really cool. The only downside about it is that if you do happen to warp your horse with you wherever you're going, and you go, you're here with your horse. But if you don't want to hang out and you want to go directly back to your 
your farm without riding or walking, you use your return scepter. And unfortunately, your horse does not come with you. So that's the only downside about the return scepter. But it is very useful when you're out and about doing other things and you just want to get back to your farm or you're out super late um, and you don't want to pass out so you just get back uh, to, your, to your farm before time runs out for the day. Uh, so thanks for watching.